Okay, calculus, AP calculus, chapter four, basic differentiation, <clears throat> video number one, or part one, the power rule. Here in this video, or in these videos, in AP calculus, we are not going to prove how the power rule is when y equal x power n, then dy to dx is n multiplied with x to the power n minus one, so n multiplied with 1, which is the coefficient of x to the power n minus 1. Here we are going to use it only, not, we are not going to uh, prove it. In calculus, we already did prove that. So let's directly use this. We, you can go back to website, go to calculus uh, uh, title, and you can see, or you can tell me if you need me to prove by starting from definition, how y equal x power n is n times x to the power n minus 1. We call it a power rule. Uh, if y equal x to the power 5, then how much is y prime? We can say y prime, or we can say dy to dx, which is the same. So it is equal to 5x to the power 5 minus 1, which is 4. Those are easy and simple. I'm going to use y prime symbol. So x equal y equal x to the power 20, then y prime is 20 times x to the power 20 minus 1, which is 19. What if it is negative? Same thing exactly. If f prime of x equal x to the power minus 5, then f prime of x equal, if f of x equal x to the power minus 5, then f prime of x equal minus 5, which is n, multiplied with x to the power minus 5 minus 1, it will be minus 6. We can keep it this way, or we can get rid of the negative exponent uh, by making reciprocal right it's minus 5 over x power 6 here is the same x equal uh, x to the power half this is a power rule right this implies that u prime equal to what a half times u to the power this is radical uh, rule I, I i mean now what is 1 over 2 minus 1 it's minus half also we can uh, make it uh, leave it like that or we can Take it back as it's stuck. Okay. All right. Which is equal. 1 over 2. Keep it 1 over 2. U power minus half. Take it back to the denominator, which is u to the power half. So it's 1 over 2 radical u, which is the derivative of radical x. Why I'm using u, I don't know. It's x, right? So it's x. x. U is the function, right? Y equal x. This implies directly y prime is equal to 1. Why is that? Because we can also use x power 1. Same formula, x power 1. 1 multiplied with x, it's 1x to the power 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Let me rewrite it, which is 1 times x to the power 1 minus 1, n minus 1, which is equal to 1 times x to the power 0. x to the power 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. If y equal x power 0, this implies that, right? Stuck again. This implies that, right? <coughs> x power 0. x power 0 is 1 and... Uh, I don't know why it's not working. Okay, just... Wait a minute. Okay. X, let me in the, the, the meantime explain that for you. X power zero is one and the derivative of any constant number is equal to zero. Is equal to zero, right? Because if x not equal 0, for sure here we have a condition that x not equal to 0, right? Not working. Okay, I'm going to stop this uh, video over here and we I will see you in, uh, in another video, part 1, because it seems it's not working, alright? Let me fix it and go back to you.